Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I do my dog's weekly paw soaks. Before I get started, I wanna talk really quick on the benefits of paw soaks. So paw soaks are when you're physically soaking their paws. Um, I soak them in a povidone iodine solution. Uh, povidone iodine is completely safe and non-toxic. It's anti-septic, uh, antibacterial, and it will just get all the dirt, pollen, pesticides, herbicides, really anything that they're exposed to in our toxic modern world, even cleaning products, you know, that you're spraying in the air that fall onto the floor and since they don't wear protective clothing like us humans do you know we wear socks shoes house slippers etc uh that protect us from those particles and we also wash ourselves a lot more so as humans are probably showering every day or around every other day we're our dog friends are, you know, getting baths once a month or, you know, once a week or whatever. Whatever the frequency they're getting bathed, humans are going to be washing the particles off a lot more. So this is a super easy, simple, and fast paw soak that are great for allergies, uh, yeasty paws, and just for an overall healthier pet. So let's get started. Right, so the first thing and the most important thing is... Uh, Provident iodine. This is a uh, veterinary grade. You don't have to get veterinary grade. This is just what I have. Uh, but you can get it pretty much at any pharmacy, drugstore. You probably can get even get it off Amazon. I got this specific one off Target Supply. But if you want the veterinary grade one, you can also get it at like vet field websites online. Um, or if you have a local tractor supply, you can get it there too. So I have Provident iodine, a clean bathtub, and then I just have a towel to towel dry their paws after they're done. So now I'm gonna fill up the tub um, and then make the solution. So the tub is filled. I only really care about like this area being filled and it's just enough to cover their whole paws. I don't really care about this area being as filled just because I have them stand right here. Um, now I'm gonna add in the povidone iodine and you, it's not really any scientific formula. You just add it in until it's the color of a sweet tea. So I'll add some in, give it a good squirt and then mix it around and see what the color is. So it's a little light, so I'm gonna add in a bit more. And you'll see some bubbles as you're swishing it around, which is completely fine. And you don't have to do it as mass as I'm doing. I just have two dogs. That's why I do it in a big tub. If you just have one, you can totally do it to, in a smaller scale. Swish it around. All right, there we go. So that's about the color that we like it, but color of sweet tea, it could even go a bit darker, but as you can see, it's more concentrated over here than here because this is where they I have made I have them mainly stand. Um, now I'm gonna go grab them and we'll put them in. All right, so I have Stormy in the tub. As you can see, she's not very happy. Um, but the most important thing is that all four of her feet are in the solution. You don't have to do anything special like massage her paws or anything. As long as they're in the solution, they're good to go. A lot of times if their paws are, have a lot of particle stuff on it, you can see it floating around in the water, which sometimes I will with Storm just because I take her so many places. Uh, but I usually keep her in for about two to five minutes, usually around three, as you can see, she's not very happy. She will uh, endure it, but she will not happily endure it. Uh, and then I'll take her out and tell her about her, pat her dry. So we're just gonna wait for about three minutes for her paws to be to sit in the solution. Okay, so her time in the soak is done. So now I'm just gonna have her hop out of the tub and towel dry her feet. Okay, so I just drained the tub and you can see all this dirt and dust and like crap that was in her paws. And this is just from Stormy because um, I, I didn't do Hoover today. Uh, but you can see all that would have been in her paws, just chilling there, irritating her, making her itch and not making her very happy. So proof that this works. I just drained the tub and as you saw, all the particles that were stuck in her paws um, now and she is debris free from her environment. That is my weekly paw soak. I usually do the both of them, but this time it was just stormy. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to ask me any questions and always keep it fun.